Hello friends, welcome back. Now we'll start exercise 4.4. Now while solving this exercise, I'm not going to solve the example completely. Final calculations you have to do by yourself. No spoon feeding please. Okay, I will draw up to figure. I will solve this example only up to drawing the figure and you are going to solve this. Even the figures first you will try and then I will solve it here. You will pause your video, check your figure and then pause your video and solve that. Okay, the first example for a person standing at a distance of 80 meters from the church. Church is there, draw church first, a boy standing at a distance 80 meters from the church. The angle of elevation of its top is of 45 degrees major. Means when I am looking at the top of the church, the angle of elevation is 45. That is this angle is 45 degrees. Find the height of the church. Please pause your video and draw the figure first. Church is there, boy is standing here. Elevation, angle of elevation is 45 degrees and distance is 80 meters here and you have to find the height of the church. Very simple. How will you solve this now? Tan 45 is equal to x upon 80. So what is x? Tan 45 is 1. So x is also 80. Actually this problem was oral problem but better to solve it. Let us see next one. Second example of 4.4. From the top of the lighthouse, as soon as you read the top of the lighthouse, first draw horizontal line, draw one lighthouse, and from the top of the lighthouse, an observer look at the ship and find the angle of depression. Draw a horizontal line, draw a lighthouse. From here, he will see sh the ship somewhere. Now the angle will be this angle. He is standing like this and angle of depression is this, that is this upper angle, okay. Angle of depression 60 degrees, if the height of the lighthouse is 90 meter, lighthouse height is given 90 meters, then find how far is that ship from the lighthouse. Root 3 is 1.73. This example was there in March 14 exam for 4 marks, 4 marks. Please pause your video and try to draw the figure first. So let us draw the figure. This is the horizontal. This is the lighthouse. From the top of the lighthouse, he observed the ship. Angle of depression. Now, this is angle of depression. Okay. Height of the lighthouse is 90 meters. Angle of depression is 60 degrees. And you have to find out the how far is the ship from the lighthouse. That is you have to find this x. Simple example. If this is 60 it has to be 30. And then tan 30 x upon 90. Tan 30 is 1 upon root 3. So just find out the value of x. Don't forget to write the meters because they are given meters as a unit okay so please pause your video finish this example and also check your answer example 3 two buildings are in the front of each other immediately draw two buildings first write down draw two buildings in front of each other on the either side of the road that means in between the road is there now don't think for how far is from how far is the footpath and all those things no Okay, here you have to take edge to edge. Road is there, width of the road and two buildings, no footpath. Okay, two buildings are in front of each other on either side of a road of width 10 meters. The road width is 10 meters, two buildings are standing in front of each other. From the top of the first building, which is 30 meter high, so one building height is given 30 meter high, the angle of elevation of the top of the second building, angle of elevation means since there is 30 meters high on the top of the building he is standing and he has angle of elevation that means he has to see up that means the second building is taller than this building okay angle of elevation is 45 degrees what is the height of the second building march 15 exam for three marks very easy sum 
Pause your video and try to draw this figure first. Let us solve this. This is the road. This is one building. They are given it is 30 meter high and angle of elevation is there. So obviously second building is taller. Let me draw the horizontal line. This is 45 degree angle of elevation. The road width is 10 meters and you have to find out the height of second building. This is 30 meters so this is also 30 meter and let us say this is x. Now in this case you can take both the ways. You can take the height of the second building x and then say that this distance is x minus 30 or you take this x and at the end you add 30. Tan theta is x upon 10. Tan 45 is x upon 10. So what is tan 45? 1 is equal to x upon 10. So x is 10 plus 30. That is 40 meters is the height of second building. Correct? Again overall sum calculation since tan 45, tan 30, tan 60. Whenever tan 45 are there, generally the example is oral. Answer is oral. But remember x we have considered this. Don't forget to add 30 to x. Okay? So height of second building is x plus 30 that is 40 meters. Let us go ahead. Fourth example. Two poles, two poles. Draw two poles. Horizontal line and two poles. Of the height of 18 meter and 7 meters. Two poles are given. 7 meters and 18 meters are erected on the ground. Now draw the two poles first. A wire of length 22 meters ties the top of the poles, 22 meters, from one end of the, one top of the, one pole to another top. Find the angle made by the wire with the horizontal. Very easy. Please pause your video and draw the figure first. Let us solve this. This is the horizontal line. This is the one pole. This is another pole. And height they are given 7 meters and 18 meters. This is 7, this is 18 and this is 22. And we want to find out the angle. Find the angle made by the wire with the horizontal. So this is the angle with the horizontal. How will you solve this? If this is 7, then this is 11. So now hypotenuse is in involved. So it will be opposite side upon hypotenuse. That is sin theta is equal to 11 by 22. Write down opposite side upon hypotenuse. So sin 30 is equal to 1 upon 2. And what is 1 upon 2? This is the only ratio we have by hearted. Sin 30 is half. So theta is equal to and hence theta is equal to 30 degrees. Correct? Simple example. Let us go ahead. Fifth example. A tree is broken by the wind. Okay. A tree is standing here. Okay. So suppose this is a tree. The top struck the ground at an angle of 30 degrees. Now remember one thing. The tree has not completely fallen down. This is the tree. The half of the tree is fall down and its top. The tree is standing like this and top is fallen down. Okay. The top struck the ground at an angle 30 degree and at a distance 30 meter from the root. Find a height of the standing tree. The tree is like this by the wind. The tree broken and it falls down. This top makes 30 degree angle. What they said? The top struck the ground at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. Okay. Please pause your video and draw this figure first. Let us draw the figure. Initially, the tree is here. This is the ground. Now this much tree is cut and it is making angle of 30 degrees at a distance of 30 meters. Initial height of the tree is this. What do you want to find out? Find the height of the standing tree. Find the height. That means you have to find 
x and y. Now the height of tree is x plus y. But this y part is touching here. Correct? So now how will you find out x and y? Very simple. We have to use the ratios. This is 30. If I use the cos of 30, that is 30 upon y, then I'll get the value of y. And if I get tan of 30, that will I'll get x upon 30, I'll get the value of x. And then adding x plus y, I will get the final answer. Please pause your video here and solve this example. Again, I'm telling you, this tree completely standing was x plus y. Now up to y part is fallen down and it is touching here. Okay, so this is y. Okay, so now we have got this angle and one side we have got. So first find out the cos 30, you will find y, then find out by using tan 30 and you will get x and adding x and y, you will get height of the tree. Please solve this. The last example of 4.4, extremely easy example. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. Draw the figure, draw the ground line, draw the one point kite. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to the ground. The string to the kite is tied to the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degrees. Ground is making 60 degree inclination. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. I hope you know how the kite is flying. The string is never st in a straight line. It is always curved one. But this time you consider it is a straight line. There is no slack in the string. Okay. So kite is there tied to the ground. Angle of inclination is 60. And what else they are given? The height of the flight uh, kite they are given that is 60 meters. Draw the figure first. Pause your video. Let us solve this. This is the ground kite is flying here above the 60 meters uh, it is a string attached to the ground makes angle of 60 degrees we have to find the length of the string extremely simple sin 60 sin 60 is nothing but root 3 upon 2 is equal to 60 please solve this example and check your answer and here we are finishing exercise 4.4. Application of the trigonometry. Expect at least one example in your exam of this type. So examples are not very difficult. Only thing the figure must be perfect. The simple examples are a boy standing looking at the top of the tree or top of the building. Very simple. Just the ground level. Second example we saw was a road was there, two buildings were there. From the top of the building, I saw the top of the other building. Then we saw, I'm standing some distance above the lake and a cloud is there and reflection of cloud is there. Remember, the reflection of cloud, the distance is exactly, the depth of the reflection is exactly same as the height of the cloud. Okay. Then there are some more examples that from the aeroplane is flying, from this point and he saw something after traveling some distance he again saw at, the, at that particular object and two different angle of depressions he found. We will solve those example in the problem set. So friends here we are finishing exercise 4.4. I hope uh, you are now expert in drawing the figures correct. Again my suggestion is go through minimum 20 to 25 papers find out all the examples on application of trigonometry and just draw the figures perfectly if the figure is perfect your answer is very easy we have seen 8 to 10 examples in all the examples the angles were 30 60 45 30 60 and 45 okay and you know the values of all those ratios so it is very easy correct another Thing I want to tell you whenever you are drawing the figure generally when you refer to book or refer to some some notes etc 
they always write the a b c x y z whatever it is a b c d okay and in the solution they might have given that uh, tan 60 is equal to b c upon a b so tan 60 and so on they use all these names of the lines instead don't all don't write the name of the don't write this tan 60 is equal to 60 upon a b okay or the first step they might have given tan 60 is equal to bc upon ab so tan 60 is equal to 60 upon ab length of ab so length of ab and so on no don't confuse yourself this will in the uh, later stage of the example it will get complicated and you will miss somewhere instead just write x and whenever you are referring just write down as per the figure shown as per the figure shown tan 60 is 60 upon x don't write bc upon ab and all those things okay whatever you want to find out give straight away names x y if the angle is to be found out angle theta don't write that uh, so the tan of the angle c a b is equal to b c upon a b no don't complicate your example okay the minimum efforts to examiner maximum marks you will get <laughs> maximum does not means if the four marks are given he will give you six seven marks not like that but make the example easy for checking to examiner also okay so don't write all those things bc and ab and angle c a b and so on give names to that and solve your example by stating those names don't forget to draw the figure perfectly and write here as per shown in figure so that examiner will see the figure most probably when the examiner see your figure is perfect and answer is perfect he will not check the steps he will give you full marks directly okay so let us go to problem set 4 thank you